Hello guys, welcome to the fifth Python tutorial. Today we'll talk about comparison and assignment operators. Before we jump into the subject, let's understand operands. Operands are quantities on which operations are being performed. Let's say we are adding 3 and 2. Here addition is the operation, 3 and 2 are the operands. Let's talk about comparison operators. Comparison operators are used for comparing the values of operands. If the comparison holds, Python returns true. If the comparison doesn't hold, Python returns false. Let's talk about the different comparison operators. There is the equality operator, not equal to operator, and a bunch of other operators I'm sure most of you are familiar with. We'll practice these operators during the practice session at the end. Let's talk about assignment operators. Assigning means allocating values to variables. Let's say we declare x equal to 5. This means we are assigning the value 5 to variable x. This is the most simplest form of assignment operator. However, there are also some compound assignment operators. Compound operators are a result of combining one of these arithmetic operations with an equal to which creates its respective assignment operator. Let's check how they work. Let's denote each of these arithmetic operations as phi. Now let's declare variables a and b. When we do a phi equal to b, Python will carry the phi operation with a and b and then assign the value to a. So this is how the assignment operation works. Let's see it in action. Let's go ahead and talk about comparison operators. If I print 3 greater than 2, Python will return me true. However, if I print 3 less than 2, Python is going to return me false. Let's say I want to check if both the operands are equal. Then I can use the equal to equal to operator. Similarly, if I want to check if both the operands are not equal, then I can use the exclamation equal to operator. Now let's practice some assignment operators. Let's declare a random variable called random underscore number and assign it the value 10. Now if I do random underscore number plus equal to 2 and print out the result you can see python returns us 12. Now instead of plus equal to 2, if I do minus equal to 2, python is going to return us 8. Similarly, if I do multiply equal to 2, python is going to return us, well, I hope you guessed it right, 20. Now I have a question for you. What is python going to return us if we do floor division equal to 2 or forward slash forward slash equal to 2. You can write down your answers in the comment section below. So today we studied about comparison and assignment operators. If you like the video, please share it with your friends and colleagues. Subscribe to the channel to receive instant updates of my published videos. Apart from that, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please put them down in the comment section below. I'll be sure to reply to them. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.